To simplify trigonometric expressions, sometimes it's useful to think about the trig functions in terms of their opposite adjacent and hypotenuse formulas. To simplify sine theta cosecant theta over cotangent theta, we could rewrite the sine of theta as its formula, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse. We could rewrite cosecant theta of its formula, which just happens to be hypotenuse over opposite, all divided by the formula for cotangent theta, which is adjacent over opposite. Notice since we're multiplying opposite over hypotenuse times hypotenuse over opposite, the opposites would cancel each other out. The hypotenuses would cancel each other out, meaning we just have one left in the numerator over adjacent over opposite in the denominator. If we're dividing by one by adjacent over opposite, we could rewrite that as one times the reciprocal of adjacent over opposite, which is opposite over adjacent, which equals just opposite over adjacent. And that happens to be the formula for tangent. So sine cosine, or excuse me, sine cosecant over cotangent is equivalent to just taking the tangent of that particular angle theta. Let's try another one. This one is tangent squared theta cosecant squared theta minus one over secant squared theta. So let's rewrite all of those in terms of their formulas. So that would be opposite squared over adjacent squared. I'm squaring those because this is tangent squared theta times the formula for cosecant is going to be hypotenuse squared over opposite squared minus one. And all of that is over secant squared theta, which could be rewritten as its formula, which is hypotenuse squared over adjacent squared. So notice that the opposite squared thetas are going to cancel each other out. And so that's going to leave me with hypotenuse squared over adjacent squared minus 1 over hypotenuse squared over adjacent squared. That's going to be equivalent to hypotenuse squared over adjacent squared minus one, and all of that, since I'm dividing by hypotenuse squared over adjacent squared, I could multiply by the reciprocal of that, which would be adjacent squared over hypotenuse squared. And I'm gonna distribute this back to both parts inside parentheses. So that would mean that the hypotenuse squared would cancel with the hypotenuse squared, the adjacent squared would cancel with the adjacent squared, so that would just equal one for that distributive portion. But then I do have to take adjacent squared over hypotenuse squared times negative one, so that will be negative adjacent squared over hypotenuse squared. And we, at a certain point, you do have to revert this back to the uh, trig function. So that will become 1 minus, and what is the formula for adjacent squared over hypotenuse squared? Well, that is cosine squared of the angle. And 1 minus cosine squared theta is actually the, another version of one of the Pythagorean identities. It is equal to sine squared theta. So all of that simplifies simply to sine squared theta. Okay, so let's try one more. So this is secant theta over sine theta all times one minus cosine squared theta. Well, before I even try to do my opposites and adjacents and hypotenuses on this one, that one minus cosine squared theta just kind of screams at me because as I just got through saying, there are other versions of the uh, trig identities of the Pythagorean identities and one minus cosine, cosine squared theta is the same thing as sine squared theta. So I'm just going to rewrite 1 minus cosine squared theta as sine squared theta. So notice that I have sine theta in a denominator and sine squared theta 
in the numerator. So that means this sine theta in the denominator could cancel out with one of the sine thetas in the numerator, which means before I even start rewriting anything, I have this as secant theta times sine theta. The formula for secant theta now is hypotenuse over adjacent. And the formula for sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. The hypotenuses will cancel each other out, leaving us with opposite over adjacent. And the formula opposite over adjacent is the formula for tangent. So this simplifies to just tangent theta. Finally, some formulas use trig functions in their formulas. The amount of light that a source provides to a surface is called its illuminance. The illuminance E in foot candles on a surface is related to the distance R in feet from which the light from the light source. The formula secant theta equals I over ER squared, where e I is the intensity of the light source is measured in candles, and theta is the angle between the light beam and a line perpendicular to the surface. It can be used in situations which light is important, as in photography. Solve the formula in terms of E. So let me rewrite this uh, formula here. It was secant theta equals I over E R squared. So in order to solve that for E, that means I got to get E by itself. Let's eliminate the equation of fractions. So let's multiply both sides times E R squared. E R squared. So the E R squares will cancel out on the right side. So that just leaves it with I equals E R squared secant theta. And again, if I'm trying to solve for E, then I should try to divide by R squared secant theta, both sides. So that cancels out the R squared secant thetas on the left side. So that just leaves me with E equals I over R squared secant theta. Now, another way of writing r squared secant theta, since you're dividing the, by secant theta, is to rewrite it as its reciprocal function. So the reciprocal function of secant theta is cosine theta. So I could rewrite this as E equals I over R squared on the bottom, and then the numerator since I'm dividing by secant theta, that's the same as dividing by 1 over cosine. Which means I would turn that into a multiplication problem times cosine of theta. Which means I could write this as I cosine of theta over... Part B is the equation in the part A equivalent to R squared equals I tangent theta cosine theta over E and explain. So we're going to solve this one for E as well, and we're going to compare it to the one we just got through solving for. So to solve this one for E, let's eliminate the fraction on both sides. So I would multiply both sides times E. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. That would eliminate the fraction on both sides. So that would be E R squared equals... I tangent theta cosine theta. I'm going to go ahead and change tangent and cosine to their opposite adjacent hypotenuse functions. So that would be ER squared equals I times. So the formula for tangent is opposite over adjacent. Formula for cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacents would cancel each other out, so that leaves you with E R squared equals I times opposite over hypotenuse. And the formula for opposite over hypotenuse is sine. So this becomes I sine theta. 
And again, if I'm divide, solving for e, I need to divide both sides by r squared. So that means e equals i sine theta over r squared. And notice that this is not the same as this. These are not equal to each other because one is in terms of cosine, one is in terms of sine. So they are not equal to each other.